There may be more than 13 employees contaminated by a radiation leak at New Mexico's WIP site, which stores low-grade nuclear waste. It turns out there were more employees than first thought at the plant when the spill happened 13 days ago. Today, the feds and the company that runs WIP said they still don't know what happened or how bad the spill is. News 13's Bob Martin has the story. At the surface of the WIP site itself, east of Carlsbad, this Thursday afternoon was a normal workday for many. More than 180 employees of Nuclear Waste Partnership, the company that runs WIP for the Department of Energy, were on the job, above ground. No one has gone into the deep tunnels below since the leak two weeks ago. WIP managers say because the particles that escaped the mine into the air and ultimately contaminated 13 employees had such low levels of radiation, it did not show up at first. Okay, we found no uh, uh, detectable contamination on our surface, on our individuals, and everything else on our, on our site. It was only after days of more sophisticated lab tests that human contamination was confirmed. WIP scientists say radiation levels are far below some of those in our everyday lives, like from medical x-rays and natural sources, but still. It is premature to speculate on the health effects of these preliminary results or any treatment that may be needed. More tests will be done on the 13 known contaminated workers and new tests ordered for extra employees recently discovered to have been on the site at the time of the leak. WIP managers say they are getting closer now to beginning the exploration of WIP's underground tunnels to find out what happened. Before people are sent below, sensors will be lowered into the mine to see if it's safe. It's thought a roof or wall collapsed on some waste containers and ruptured them. Plans for cleanup and uh, reopening are in the works. We will make sure that we uh, conduct this recovery plan in a very disciplined manner to make sure that uh, we bring this facility uh, to, to what it needs to be like it was before. Sensors will be lowered in the next few days. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, Carlsbad. New Mexico Senators Martin Heinrich and Tom Udall have called on the EPA to do independent monitoring of the radioactive contamination at WIP.